WHO and two weather, Kamaka Pili. We are officially in the single digits as hurricane season is only nine days away on June 1st. Again, we're looking at around two to five tropical storms in our outlook for this season. If you don't already have your emergency kits prepared, now is the time to do that. As we take a look into the new week, the week's going to start off on a little more uncomfortable note compared to this week. In our UA, our rain, that's going to be stepping up mainly during the afternoon hours, and all has to do with the winds, even our oceans. For the east facing shores, we're seeing those wave heights remain quite small at two to four foot. A nice bump for the rest, three to five up north, two to four as well for the south and the west facing shores. Now, the winds unfortunately are shifting out of that easterly flow that brings more comfort and coming up from that southeasterly flow, which is going to increase that humidity and the, the discomfort across the islands. Plus, we're looking at single digits, so that doesn't help quite as much at all. And on top of that, what we're looking at is an upper level disturbance that flared off a several thunderstorm activity uh, for the past couple days over Hawaii Island. But this a uh, particular source is moving away, but coming in from the opposite direction, we're actually seeing a series of these upper level disturbances sweeping throughout this week. So that's going to prolong the threat of thunderstorms for Hawaii Island really alone all the way through the week to the ending of the week. In terms of the moisture and the shower activity with the light and variable winds that we're going to be experiencing, it's going to be light enough to allow sea breezes during the afternoon to flare up for the leeward and inland areas. But we're also going to be having some of that moisture continue to come in from the east. And on top of that, that upper level disturbance will create that instability enough where we could see some heavy downpours and in particular for Oahu and that's going to really start looking at around Tuesday into Wednesday. Taking a quick peek towards Kauai, we're seeing our chances actually going to be remaining low compared to the rest of the state for the west end. Kauai up to around 20% of chance of shower activity even during the afternoon and even even here on Oahu. However, on the leeward side, the Waianae Coast, we're looking up to about a 50% chance of rain during the afternoon hours. And that's going to be bringing in that humidity and the discomfort. That's going to take us into the middle of the week, where we're going to start to see the trade winds return around Wednesday, but mainly Thursday to prevail across the islands. And we're going to have another cold front that's going to be coming in through the ending of the week. So that's going to not only disturb our wind flow again next weekend, but it could bring another round of some wet weather in the days ahead. Enjoy the week, everybody. Sam, I give it back to you.